Hello everybody, welcome back to HP Outdoors, I'm Henry. So in this video, this is gonna be part one of making the truck topper build. So I'll basically show you what's going on. As you can see, it looks a little bit different in here. Basically what I did was I took this out. So this was basically the plastic bed covering in the truck bed. And the reason I took that out was there's a couple reasons actually. Number one, I took it out because I wanted to clean under there, which was a good idea because it was definitely really dirty under that. And in the future, I think that could have been a problem. The other reason I took it out was to save space. Obviously in a truck topper build in this kind of truck, I need all the space I can possibly get. So I decided to take it out and it took a while to get out because I didn't want to take the topper off. So, it took a while to get off, but I luckily did without damaging anything. The plan is for today is I'm going to cover the bed with carpet and I'm also going to tint the windows. So I have all that stuff ready and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I have this carpet here. So it has like a rubber side on it. And what that's going to do is it's going to ensure that number one, it's going to give it a little bit waterproofing because if somehow rain got in to the truck topper. Like I don't want a normal carpet that doesn't have that rubber in the bottom. I don't want it like soaking in the water and then the truck bed getting rusty. So that was a problem. I didn't really want that to happen. So I had to figure out a plan. And what I came up with was to use this on the bottom. Now it doesn't fit exactly. So we're gonna put another rug over it. And then obviously this rug's gonna go on all the sides and everything else that I need to cover with the rug to give it insulation. Also, I did clean the truck bed after I took the plastic part out. You can see, it might not look super clean, but some of that is like, like this is not dirt, but I got it as clean as possible. This is what the water looked like, as you can see, pretty disgusting. And then I obviously dried it because if I didn't dry it, that would be a problem. I don't want it rusting in the bed. So that's where we're at right now. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take the bottom rug like the one with the rubber on it put that in and i'm gonna line it over with the other carpet so you'll see i also bought some reflective insulation because obviously taking out the plastic for the bed you're gonna lose a lot of insulation all right you guys so what I just did is I slid the mat in here and that's going to be the bottom. So as you can see, I might need to cut it a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Just slid the other carpet in. Obviously I'm going to have to cut this one. Like I'm not leaving it like this. We got to cut this. So that worked surprisingly well. I'm actually really surprised about that. Uh, it's sticking pretty good. Now we have to do in there, which is going to be probably a little bit more difficult.
All right, you guys. So we got this completely outlined with the carpet, as you can see. So the next step is to take the bottom down. Then we're going to put some insulation on that side and then put the rest of the rug on there, tape it all up. And we're pretty much done with the carpet after that. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we got it all taped down. It's actually working way better than I expected. I expected this to be just awful. I pretty much cut it and taped it in about an hour, which I'm pretty happy about that. I thought it was gonna take at least three. So I'm happy about that, it didn't take that long. Because it's taped down, I can make arrangements if I need to. Now we are going to do probably that wall first because it's the easiest. And then we're gonna go to the wheel wells and then finally those walls. So then we'll be done taping it. And then if we have time, I want to put the tent on it. So we'll see what happens. So we cut a piece of reflective insulation here and we taped it on. So now we got to get the rug over it. All right, guys, so we just got that done. So now on the other wheel well, all right, guys, so we got the second wheel well done. So now we have to go to the wall here um, on both sides. So that should be interesting. I'm not too excited for the walls because I know it's not gonna be easy because we gotta go around with the tile loops. We got one side done, as you can see. Uh, it's not perfect, but I mean, honestly, this is gonna have to do for right now. Now we're going to do the other side. At this point, I think I'm not gonna film that side because I think you guys get the point of what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just using outdoor carpet and then taping it down with double-sided rug tape and, you know, using some insulation. I used the mat and then cutting out the pieces and taping it on there is pretty much all I'm doing. So it's a pretty simple concept, but it's not necessarily easy. But I'll update you guys when it's done and then tomorrow, I will probably tint the windows. All right, guys, so we just got this side done. So the whole bed of the truck is now carpeted. Well, all in all, it was about a four hour process. So 100% the bed rug would have been easier, but number one, a bed rug is expensive. And number two, there's no bed rug that fits my truck. All right, you guys, so it's the next day. And so this is what it's looking like in here. You can see the rug a little bit better, so that side looks pretty good this side not perfect i tinted the windows so only these two windows for right now that side is kind of foggy i don't know why as you can see i didn't do the greatest job so i'm going to be touching up on that that side is pretty good and then we still have this window this window and then this all right you guys so i have tinted these windows both here that one and then all these windows right there not that window i'm not going to tint that window all right you guys so we got the tin all up on this window those windows those windows i didn't put a tin on this window and i also didn't put one on this window either because it would just be too hard to see so i'm going to figure out something else for those windows but yeah so this is what it's looking like looking pretty good all right and this is going to be the end so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one